and good morning to all. Myself Shreya and I study in class 6 and I am from Delhi Public School, Faridabad Sector Chak. Now, I am going to tell you about this respiratory system. First, let me introduce you to the respiration and breathing. Uh, firstly, I want to tell you about the inhalation and exhalation. Inhalation means when we take the air in, basically oxygen in, like that. And exhalation means when we give out the carbon dioxide, like this. So, when this inhalation and exhalation come together, it forms the breathing system. Talking about the respiration, it is a chemical change in our cells. I will tell you in details a bit later. But first, let's, let's study these parts in the respiratory system. Firstly, here is our nose. Now, this you know about the nose, what is the nose, here is the mouth, you can see here. Now about the pharynx, pharynx. Now what's, so th this is basically our throat and about the larynx, so it is a sound box which creates sound. Then, talking about this trachea, it is basically the wind pipe, it's a wind pipe, okay. It's a synonym of windpipe and then here is a all the two, two tubes like structure which separates these lungs are called bronchial tube. It looks like a branch so therefore it's called the bronchial tubes. And here we have bronchiolus. The branches in the, not the branches, it is, it is basically a tubes in the lungs. Then these go into structure, then like structure are lungs. Then here is the bronchiolus and with a sac, air sac like structure called alveoli. What does this alveoli have? It has the blood vessels and it is responsible for the exchange of carbon dioxide and water, oh sorry, and oxygen and it transports the oxygen involve our body. Now, here we have a diaphragm also. What does this diaphragm do? It is basically a muscle which when we, when our mind, when our brain tells the diaphragm to go down, it goes down and our lungs start filling with air or start filling with oxygen. And when it's, this diaphragm goes up, the lungs are forced forced to give out the air. So, this is the parts in the respiratory system. Now, let me explain the respiratory system. So, here, when, we, when the air or the oxygen enters in our body, it enters through the nostrils. There are two holes inside our nose, so that are called the nostrils. When the air goes through the nostrils, it, uh, it passes through the pharynx and then larynx and then it goes to the trachea and then separate it into two lungs by the help of the bronchial tubes and then it travels through the bronchiolus and ends at the alveoli. Then alveoli transports that oxygen in our body. Now I think you have a question. Why we need to uh, breathe in oxygen and why do we need to breathe out carbon dioxide and why we do that only? Why can't we breathe carbon dioxide and give out the oxygen? Why does we do, don't do that? So here is the answer. Our body, our body's cells use food, uh, here I am letting that. Food, it's basically glucose. It is in digestive system. You will learn that. Glucose. Plus, it uses oxygen. And what does it do? It put these together and forms here carbon dioxide or CO2. Carbon dioxide and water. Now this carbon dioxide is 
just a byproduct of uh, the byproduct made by our cells so this need to be removed from our body it is harmful so our body uh, for carbon dioxide our body give out carbon dioxide therefore our body give out the carbon dioxide and a little amount of water also now this was the whole respiratory system and i think that now you have no questions about this the respiratory system thank you and have a nice day ahead